Hi there, welcome to episode 137 of the Wave Back Music Podcast. My name is Chris. And I'm Matt. And we're here to listen to the most interesting video game music there is. Sega is a name arcade goers certainly came to remember in the old days. They were always a solid player, but things really took off for them when they started releasing a series of fast-paced games like Hang On, Space Harrier, Afterburner, and of course, a certain red car racing game with some amazing music. Don't flip your car over, because tonight we listen to the music of OutRun. Well, hello, Matt. Hello, Chris. How are you today? Uh, can't complain. <laughs> See, that's funny because we're actually, for the first time ever, recording two episodes in one day. So this is this is happening right after the Crash Bandicoot episode. But for you, time has passed. For you, um... Uh, well, let's see. Well, I don't even know when this is coming out, but uh, we're time travelers. We're as time far travelers. As I'm concerned. Yeah. Like right now, we're talking to you from the past, and we yep. remember a time when it was raining outside. Mm-hmm. We had just listened to the Crash Bandicoot soundtrack. I just ate yep. a granola bar. Uh, I had some pineapple. That's fan. Oh man, that sounds good. I love pineapple. I love pineapple. Mm-hmm. All right, pineapple on pizza. Um, so I'm not a fan of marinara sauce. Okay. So I, I don't have an answer. Oh, do I have an opinion on it? Yeah. I say go for it. Okay, good. Because I do. I love a good good Hawaiian pizza. I, you know, who am I to judge? Because when I was a kid, I used to eat, uh, uh, what do you call it, golden spicy mustard on carrots. You know what I mean? That, it tasted that, good. That, what do you want from me? You know me? what? That's, that, that works for you, and that works for you. I say put whatever you want on a pizza. Yeah. And you know what? Whatever it is, if it's... Uh, what defines a pizza? You know, if I put sauce Correct. and cheese on a on a on a ham steak, is that is that a pizza? <laughs> or a piece of white toasted white bread? Exactly. Cardboard with ketchup, is that pizza? <laughs> <laughs> All right, more important question. If I put yes. a frozen burrito on a stick, can I call it a popsicle? Hmm. <laughs> uh is it a stick or is it a popsicle stick? I guess it's a pop. Well, is any stick with a frozen substance on the other end a popsicle stick? Does a stick become a popsicle stick once it's attached to a popsicle? This is like a Rondazzo pro- paradox. <laughs> like Schrodinger's cat and Pavlov's dog, we've got a, a Rondazzo. <laughs> when does a stick become a popsicle stick? Ah, oh, this is what you're here for tonight, folks. This is what you tune in for. <laughs> Not the not the soundtrack, just the musing of two guys who've had about four hours of sleep collectively. Oh, good times. Well, we're going to listen to OutRun, and I am excited about it. So, Matt. Yes. Yes, sir. Hit us with some history. Sweetly. Find it first. Okay. OutRun. <laughs> Hi. I'm ready to re- record. All right. <laughs> Wait, don't we have a Discord channel where you could, where we're supposed to be, um, like broadcasting live? Well, doing our it record? live? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Maybe. Um, but who the hell is going to listen to this at noon in the afternoon? Let's ah, see. whatever. Now we'll look into it next time. <laughs> yeah, no, because then we'd have to like be on the Discord channel, and that's never fun. Yeah, it's such a whole thing. All right, anyway. I see it there. Podcast room, wave back. Yep. I see it. Yeah, we'll we'll look into it for uh, October. Yeah, next time. Uh, there we go. Mm, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, there needs to be like a collection of just our outtakes. Maybe April first, we should do a, an episode where it's just outtakes. <laughs> we just don't cover a game. <laughs> no, yeah, it's just us out outtaking. All right. <laughs> or even better, what's a game that everyone wants us to do? And what we'll do is. We'll set it up, and then we will just tangent our way through an episode, and like, whoop, that's all the time we have. <laughs> That'll be our <laughs> Xeno Gears episode. <gasps> oh, so mean. But then, but then, genuinely have it ready for the next time. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's. I think that's funny, but I'm I'm a jerk. All right. Anyway, <laughs> back to this episode. Outrun was released in Japanese arcades on September 4th, 1986, and came to the North American market a few months later in November. It's a 3D driving game where you take control of a red Ferrari Testarossa Spider. You're a brown-haired man driving with your blonde-haired female cohort. Their relationship is implied, but never truly confirmed. 
That mystery aside, the game took off in popularity thanks to its fun controls, striking visuals, and catchy music. It also didn't hurt that there was a sit-down version of the arcade game that gave players the feeling of driving a real car. The game's music was composed by Hiroshi Kawaguchi. He's a, he's had a heck of a career, but in terms of games related to this episode, he's composed music for Space Harrier, Turbo Outrun, Afterburner, and its sequel, and Fantasy Zone, and many more. Um, so, Matt, uh, w- what's your personal history with Outrun? Um, I'm not a big uh, racing games fan. Um, there's maybe been one or two over the years that I thought like, oh, this is, you know, this is fun enough. Like, um, uh, Horizon Chase. I like that one a lot, honestly. Uh, but the upside to that is it's very similar to Outrun. Uh, there's, I, if you ask me, I think there's a lot of similarities. Oh, um, without a doubt. The Horizon Chase Turbo takes a lot of inspiration from Outrun. Yeah. Outrun and Top Gear are basically its biggest ins- inspirations. Right. So with Outrun, though, uh, I do actually have uh, some uh, modern gaming experience. Um, There was a point where uh, the Vest Lord and I, uh, we had a, you know, a fun little rivalry going on called uh, uh, Bash at the Bits, where we we would pick a game, an old school game that neither one of us had really played, and then, you know, challenged each other to see who could get further. And then we had a, a, a fun little trophy. That we passed back and forth, and Outrun was one of these games. Um, <laughs> so I'm embarrassed to say that I did not get very far because I did not know that you could switch gears, and you should have switched gears. Mm-hmm. So I played, I played the first level. It was basically a, uh, who can get the furthest. And I played the level in the lowest possible gear, and I timed out, and I was like, this game's stupid. And then I watched him play, and I was like, I didn't know you could switch gears. So I went back and I played it again, and I had infinitely more fun. Um, the game it just it feels fast especially for like you know something dropping in 86 and mm-hmm. and it, it it felt like you were genuinely you know cruising the open road with the top down it's i found it to be a lot of fun and yes i find the music very infectious i like the music a lot to this game yeah me too and what's funny is that i didn't hear the game's music until way 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 later because uh my right. only ex- my only experience was I remember playing Rad Racer and thinking it was the coolest darn thing, hmm. and then not that long after I played Rad Racer, I uh, saw this in an ar- arcade in like a, a hotel um, lobby or something like that, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, this looks so incredibly cool!" So I plopped in a quarter and I played it, but there was no sound on, so I was just enjoying the game on its own and not hearing anything. Uh, and I thought it was super cool. And then I didn't really see the arcade machine again for a long time. And then I saw like a friend of mine had the Genesis port, or uh, or the, the it was the Master System version. I was like, well, Rad Racer is better than this. So that was the that, that was kind of the end of my uh, love affair with Outrun until way way later. Uh, and then just a. Uh, I don't know. I I heard um, the Spring Breeze, uh, sorry, Passing Breeze cover the Banjo Gaiali did, and I was like, "Huh, let me go give Outrun a new chance." And then I did, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, this is fantastic. I should I should have been playing this a lot more over the years." Uh, yeah. And uh, I've since you know come to really enjoy the entire soundtrack because uh, once I once once you hear it, it's kind of hard not to like it. So why don't we get right ahead and uh, and do that? Let's go ahead and listen to it so that you can all enjoy it. And all yes. of its, on all of its magic, magical sound showers. Yes. Speaking of which, the first track is called Magical Sound Shower. <laughs> oh, man. Aye, aye, aye. Matt, I am so good at this. <laughs> you, you should have like a podcast or a show or something. <laughs> I should. All right, so uh, just a, a quick heads up. These songs are pretty long, uh, which you know, is, is kind of good considering this <clears throat> arcade game had you know you, you listen to the songs for a long time so you, you tend to not get get bored of them so we, we only have five songs to listen to tonight uh but they're they're pretty beefy ones so let's kick it off with magical sound shower enjoy
magical sound shower. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, absolutely. It's it's so funny to to go from some stuff we've heard before, which can be short loops and things like that, to something like this, which is like it. And not to not to you know crap on any other music there is, but it's like a fully realized song, like with you know dynamic parts and you know if you're of the lyric writing type, a verse and a chorus and a pre-chorus. Mm. You know what I mean? It's it's so oh it, it's such a a moving piece of music, both figuratively and literally. Like when I hear this track, this particular track, I get very strong like. Uh, Caribbean vibes, oh, not definitely. just not just you know um, uh, Jamaica and stuff. I get like like Latin vibes, Latin uh, you know the Puerto Rico DR like that kind of stuff. Like really interesting um, uh, backbeats and stuff. Um, instrumentation choices, I think it's great. The fidelity is on point. It's such a lively track, and I think honestly it fits very much the theme of of outrun it's just like i said before the game the game felt fast and this music i think is a perfect accompaniment to that yeah without a doubt it's uh a, the, I mean, the bass line <laughs> the flipping bass line man was so good uh yeah. and yeah it's it's you said before about like you know cruising with the cruising with the top down uh that's definitely what this song that's what this game is about that feeling of cruising with the top down but also mm-hmm. racing and yep. this really just nails that 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 feeling. And what's weird is that it's not even like I know we're only listening to five five tracks, but it's like I think this might even be one of the weaker ones on the soundtrack, which is crazy because Exxon ruled. But uh, ah, yeah, there's a I, I I love this sound, that very specific Sega arcade sound, that kind of like mm-hmm. twangy bass. Like the Genesis was real close to that, <laughs> but where the Genesis wound up, um, sometimes they nailed it with the Genesis. Absolutely, but sometimes it wound up sounding like you know something like the X Men game, where everything sounds like a fart, and uh, <laughs> that just wasn't really the case. And, and their arcade ones, they really, really nailed these sounds. And uh, it, it's such a distinct instrument set that, uh, that that Sega tended to use. And this is a great example of just how good this stuff can be. Absolutely. So let's move on to the next track, which is Passing Breeze. This is a, I think this is kind of the most iconic song from OutRun, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken. Uh, it's a darn good one, so let's give it a listen. Enjoy.
Well, that was Passing Breeze. Certainly was. I like it. I like that song a lot. <clears throat> I love that one, honestly. Um, and yeah, it's it's the one that comes to mind when I think of um, when I think of Outrun. Um, it's just it to me. It speaks uh, volumes about arcade um, sound because mm-hmm. I remember one of my biggest gripes growing up was the Ninja Gaiden, you know, arcade stand up versus what we got in the home console mm-hmm. uh, i always wanted i always loved the look of all those games the data east games the sega games they just looked so great they had just vibrant colors great sprites you know but of course they're quarter eaters and you were never going to get that at home uh you know thankfully we can now through emulation but um the soundtracks and the sound effects for those games were just so vibrant and this song is such a testament to that i mean i think every track that we're going to listen to for this game really is but like the the first two tracks we've heard so far and it's hard to believe we've only listened to two tracks because i feel like ah so immersed in this but Mm -hmm. these tracks are just so lively like the game itself uh outrun it it always makes me think like the opening sequences of the game like the like the opening uh maps and stuff always make me think of like you're driving down miami like a like an alternate universe miami so you're like you're killing it in your testarossa spider in in florida somewhere just you know these got your your hot blonde with you whatever and and like this music is right there for it because you know miami has a very strong latin culture or community so like it just gives me all of that and i think that's great and again for a game that was in the arcade in 86 you know games were still not you know deep in storyline yet and you know for all intents and purposes could have been another quarter eater but you know it's it's impressive to me just how just how like this pack this whole package came out and was just crushing it crushing it from day one Mm -hmm. and to this day i still think it does i think this is one of the in in my opinion because everyone you know has their own list i think this is one of the few games that still holds up again me and dean played it not more than a year and a half ago just you know for s's and g's and i thought man how have i just slept on this game again it's a racing game and as i said not fan but some games like transcend that and this this i definitely think is one of them yeah i mean i i Ray, I have a weird. I like arcade racers. I don't like realistic racers like your forces, your Gran Turismo's, etc. Me arcade either. Racers. I'm a big fan of that kind of silly stuff. Like cruising, cruising blast coming out on Switch pretty soon. I'm buying the heck out of it. Loved Horizon Chase Turbo, as you guys know from the episode we did. Like, I really like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this this song right here is is outrun. <laughs> it just it nails that feeling top to bottom of just the wonderfulness of playing this game and uh it didn't even you know it it had a like a loop and then it had a whole different part and then it it kind of went back to normal like the structurally speaking there was just so much wonderfulness going on in that song so let's keep going let's move on to the next track which is called splash wave this is another good one because they're all good ones pinky uh Ah. Narf. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to it. Here's Splash Wave. Enjoy.
yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> I you know, it's hard to remember uh that you know, this was an arcade soundtrack. Uh and they did stereo work. They were able to do stereo panning. Mm-hmm. Like you you saw it in some Nintendo games, but it wasn't very um widely used. Uh, yeah, early. most of it's uh, like like Game Mono. Boy, you'd hear it, but the NES yeah. didn't even output it in stereo, really. So, right, exactly. So, it's so fun to hear like some of this old stuff doing those stereo tricks, you know, just to zhuzh it up a little bit, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a ten dollar word. You guys can use that. <laughs> um, so it's a lot of fun. The, again, another another great lively track for a game that. Uh, required it, if you ask me. It's, uh, again, beautiful palette. It, it's fast. It's fun. I thought this was another perfect choice for this game. You know. Yeah, this is a really high, higher energy than the stuff we've uh, listened to already. Which isn't to say that it was previously lower energy. This is just a bit of a faster tempo. Uh, and yeah, that stereo effect is really cool because I can't imagine in a loud arcade that you'd really be able to properly appreciate it. Like, yeah, without listening right. to it on headphones, how many people really got how cool that was? Um, which is, it's just a neat touch that's there because uh, they wanted to put it there, and, and that kind of stuff's awesome. Um, yeah, it's a, this is a, it's a, such a fun, fun toe tapping tune. Like, it's really, I don't even know what else to say other than I, I, I like the heck out of it, man. <laughs> Well, uh, we may as well uh, keep on cruising, so uh, let's move on to the cruising line. Yeah, just let that one sit right there. Good uh-huh. old, good old joke. Yep. Cruising, right. see, see, I said cruising, uh-huh. and the song's got cruising in the name. Oh. Yeah. See, I don't know if you know oh. this about jokes, but they're always funnier when you explain them. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, you know, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk more about comedy later. I have lots. To, okay. <laughs> lots to say. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, well, we listen to this next track. I'll get a notebook. <laughs> Sounds like good, good, good plan. Solid plan. Great. All right. Okay. Let's listen to Cruising Line. Enjoy.
Man, that song just kept kept bringing it, huh? <laughs> it really did. <laughs> that the bass it really did. The bass did not have to go that hard, and it, it just continued to every. And, and yet it did. It yeah. Just, mm, man, that was fun. <laughs> There's just uh, there's something really great about the soundtrack, obviously because we're covering it, not just because it's uh, the anniversary. But um, there's just something really great. Like every track that comes on, and, and we you know we sit and we listen to it, it makes me continue to realize like, like wow, you know, again, and I keep and I hate to keep saying it, I should say, because age shouldn't be a, a factor, but because so many games just didn't age well. I think it's worth noting, like, this is such a great soundtrack for the time and the restrictions, like, holy crap, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, some games let that get in its way, like, oh, we only had but so much, uh, and then there are other games that are like, (laughs) rules, I don't need those. These are the tools I have to work with? Fine, I will create a symphony. You have forced my hand. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, that's just really what it all boils down to. You you get creative with it, and you might just make it happen. And these guys, they did exactly what they needed to to make this game sound awesome. And goodness gracious me, just what a a fantastic track. Just just a a great rhythm, really just driving... I mean, driving because of driving, but also like a really driving, uh, <laughs> driving rhythm going on there. Very, very toe tapping, and no shortage of, you know, just new things that they kept throwing new, different, different stuff at you. You'd think it was gonna, all right, we're good, we're ready to loop that and loop now. Like, no, no, I'm not done yet. Check this out. <laughs> and just right, kept and rolling it, with it, and it never got tiring. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes you. You think like, oh, it's so many changes in this. Ugh, God, what are they trying to do? Or sometimes you're like, uh, when's this gonna change already? You know, like there's always a perfect balance depending on your, you know, emotional state. I don't know, but there's always a perfect balance, and like this game, uh, this game soundtrack really kind of strikes that. I think. Yeah, it's darned fantastic. So uh, that unfortunately leaves us with our last track of the day. Oh, sorry, Outrun ran out of music. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this one's Outrun called Outrun ran out. I like yeah. that. That was a good one. That was like that was real under the radar. Yeah. See, I didn't even try for that one. That's why. That, yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's called Camino a Mi Amor. Uh, uh-huh. So let's give it a listen. Enjoy.
Ooh. I think my favorite part of that whole thing is where the, the, the toms go, and then it just goes... Just the the the, real, the the snap with the real big uh, reverb on it. Just for a split second, everything cuts with that one snap. That was fun. It's, there's <laughs> something to be said for great usage of dynamic, and that's totally like one of those moments. Oh yeah. For me, I liked a lot of the uh, the Latin flair. Like I I don't I don't know that I've heard this track as much as some of the other ones, and I kind of wasn't expecting it. So when it popped in, I was like, my, I kind of like I was uh, looking at something, and I popped my head up like, uh, Am I listening to the same song? Like, okay. <laughs> Did we All just right. switch tracks with it? Yeah. And it does kind of like, it flirts with the whole Latin flair for a while, and then it just yes. goes like, nah, never mind, here. <laughs> we're going, we're going in, boys. Um, yeah, but it, it, it goes in so well, and it like, it keeps, because like, that, um, that kind of, uh, Latin part, you know, it's, uh, I hate to say it, but like uh, when most people think of Latin music, that's kind of what they think of—that salsa kind of run. It's very, um, oh, what's the word? It's very much like the earmark of it. Just like people think of metalheads, like duh, 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 you know. So um, it can be a little—I don't know. Uh, what's the word? It can be a little kind of meh. But mm-hmm. the fact that they used it, and they used it in such a way that kept the the tempo of the song, and it goes perfectly. Like they didn't have to switch anything up because you know sometimes they'll do that and they'll switch it up right to the Latin beat, the, you know, and it'll go from like, dum, 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 to dum, 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 and it could be a little jarring for some. Nah, they kept it and they just went, they just went for it, like, like on a hundred, just went for it. And it was great. It came out like perfect. Yeah, couldn't yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's all just it's a bunch of it's a, it's a bunch it's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> and it just they stuck it in a blender and it came out coming out pretty good. So <laughs> Mhm. Yeah, absolutely, man. Ah. <sighs> well, that was a hoot. Um yep. I think that pretty much just uh, that pretty much wraps it up for us. Uh mm-hmm. gonna gonna call it a day here on the old wave back. Uh yep. yeah, any final thoughts before I close this out? I don't. I really don't. Uh, if I hard pressed, I would say, don't be like me and say, "Ah, oh, that game is old." Ah, ah, ah. you know, if you want to play it, go play it and uh, make that judgment call yourself. Because you know that's what happened with me and Outrun, and I'm I'm very happy that uh, I did because it really has become like a game in my mind that I'm like, yeah, love it or leave it. The game's a lot of fun, man. Just period. And that's what it's about. Having fun and entertaining yourself. And That's it. That's all I got. I concur. Go play some OutRun. It's a good time. Yeah. To give yourself some, some historical culture. <laughs> Learn you something. That's right. Get some good old arcade learning. <laughs> Anyways, join us next time as we continue to continue our anniversary goodness. Ah. Uh, but we also combine it with a wave back tradition. Yes, Aha. it will be October, so we'll be mm-hmm. celebrating the 30th anniversary of the next game in the Castlevania lineage, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge for the Game Boy. Its mm. anniversary was actually back in July, but we decided to hold it off until October to continue with, you know, we do a Castlevania game in order every October, so it all kind of all kind of worked out for clever, us. Clever, clever. Very excited to listen to this one. All right, we here at the Waveback Podcast... <clears throat> excuse me, are incredibly grateful to everyone who listens, and we love communicating with you when we can. We have a couple of ways you can do that. There's the Geek Aid Discord channel, in which we have a Waveback chat, where we frequently discuss all manner of stuff relating to video game music and whatever our next episodes are going to be. We also have a Waveback forum page over on Facebook, which you can find by searching Waveback on Facebook. Of course, you can always still send us an email at mail at geekade.com. And while you're at it, check out all our social media channels, which you should totally follow, like, and subscribe to if you haven't already, and be sure to check out all the other great content we have on our site over at geekade.com. Dot com. Uh, I would say, you know, do we want to plug anything? But who knows where we're going to be in a month? <laughs> because we're recording this one way ahead of time. So uh, I'm going to plug my new YouTube channel, Waveback Underplay, where I basically listen to episodes of Waveback while sitting under a table. <laughs> That was so unexpected. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) I can't. I can't think of anything funnier than that. (laughs) I'm not even going to try. I got nothing, guys. (laughs) I, I hate it here.
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's great. <laughs> Under a table. Oh my. All right, we're going to leave you tonight with the uh, song Last Wave. It's short, but it's more or less the ending theme, if I know this game correctly, which I don't. I <laughs> I love OutRun, but I'm not good at it. So uh, No. But I'm pretty sure this is the song that plays at the end. Uh, either way, it's Last Wave. It's pretty. It's nice. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you.